Hi! I'm so excited right now. I just got my new paper cutter in from Amazon. I ordered it this morning. No, it was like this afternoon. <laughs> I think I ordered it at like 1 or 2 this afternoon. And then it was same day. It was $25.99. It was same day delivery between 5 and 10 p.m. And I said, all right, bet. Let's get this. So, yeah, now it's here. It just came, and I thought I should share a review with you. So, here we go. Okay, we have the paper cutter handle installation steps. Okay. Here it is. Mm -hmm. And there it is. There it is. There. Right. Oh, it's here. Okay. here but I've already watched a video it's on their website or one it's on the Amazon website but I probably should oh oh don't do that don't grab the blade <laughs> grab this part and slide it down the see okay you gotta hold the make sure the handle is like this all right Ooh, don't don't grab the blade <laughs> Grab with your right hand this thing because there's a little lip here. Okay, and then, oop. Wait, no, that was right. Okay, put this in there. Come on, we did it once. There we go. All right, seems to be on there all the way. Now I will read the instructions. Pull the knife up to the position as shown in the picture. The knife only needs to be opened upward about three quarter inch. Not too much. Okay, well it's just, just you know, I just needed to be like that. But I don't need to lift it all the way up and then I <laughs> No, if that was a couple times I grabbed the blade, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. And it says it can usually be installed by hand pressure or it can also be assisted with a small rubber mallet gently knocked into place. Talking about the handle. Can you even see the handle? No, you cannot. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, you, you didn't even see me put it on there. <laughs> Like this, there's a little thing here, put that in here, push down, but I do have a little hammer that I got with the thing that I got from a, a little cubby hole storage thing, so I'm going to beat this down. Whoop, 
Don't grab the blade. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely beat it all the way down and do it about it. Cause I was not all the way in there. I'm gonna turn this over so you can see what I'm talking about. Maybe. Okay, there is a little lip right here and the handle was still up to here, so when I hit the when I hit this part with the mallet, it pushed it all the way down past this. So now it's on there securely. So most definitely hit it with something. And this is just a little plastic hammer, it's nothing, but it worked, it did the job. So any kind of little, if you use a real hammer, just gently knock it down. Okay. Sounds like it's going to grab some paper. All right, let's get some paper. Let's see, let's see. Start with one sheet. One sheet right now. Now let's see. Okay, let's lift a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is going to be... Yeah, that's not going to cut off, right? Is it? <laughs> Let's see. If we need this to be centered, it needs to show like right here. Uh, yeah. Or does it show... Okay, this is one inch all the way. Can you even see? Sure. Okay. Some of the reviews said that it was off by like an eighth of an inch. So I want to check. No, it looks like uh, that's one centimeter. And right to the edge, of that looks like it would be right. So, okay, now we're going to try to line this up in the middle. All right, let's put this here. This, they said up to 15 sheets, so we will test that. Okay, clean cut. There were some inches. Okay, there it is. <laughs> so this is. Oh, there's that's is yeah, a blade too down there. So careful with that. It's eight and a half inches. So four. Let's see if these are four in order. Four in the quarter. I see no size discrepancies here. It's gave me clean cuts. All right, let's go. This is. Eight, four sheets. Someone in the co uh, comments and the reviews said it could only go five. They lied. If this doesn't cut 15, it's more like, I think it's a five or eight. So let's see. Okay, now how, how big do we have it here? We have five and a half now, so. Two and 
2.25 or two and a quarter which is right there I can make this first Ooh, can you even see yeah you should be able to see that <laughs> two and a quarter there we go lift mm -hmm. Did my math right? <laughs> I did not. Two and two and a half should be five. What the? What did I do wrong here? I don't know. I don't know what I did. It's okay. It's fine. We're just okay. This is gonna be eight sheets of paper now. Okay, so that's going to make it 16 sheets of paper right here. So, it cut cleanly through the 8 sheets of paper. Let's, let's, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so math is mathing. Not always, as you can see. I did something wrong, obviously. Okay, but no. We're going to get this right. Okay. This is going to do the 16 sheets of, this is just plain regular printer paper, copy paper, whatever you want to call it. And here we go. It's, it says 15 sheets. <laughs> Ooh, let's get this up. So, oh, since this is 16, we're going to just go for it. The one I was originally going to buy was 16, but I found this one because I got this one because I was like, okay, it has a, another extra half star on the reviews. It's one less sheet, it claims, but it gets here today. So let's just go ahead. We, we don't want to wait. Come on. Let's, let's open it. Okay, here we go. 16 sheets. It cut. It was a little, oh, oh, we're stuck here. And maybe one. Yep. Okay. 16 sheets is too much. Okay. Yep. We will go to the 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. 15 sheets. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> it, it said 15, not 16. So here we go. Uh, I'll just put it right here. I feel like it should go all the way to the top because that's where the blade gets the best cut. Alright. 
It may be my fault. Let's see. That cut cleanly. That cut cleanly. I'm, it could have been my fault the first time. No, because I scooted it all the way up. Maybe I cut too. I should have cut it right in the middle instead of not in the middle. So let's just add one more. But this time, put it right in the center. Okay, just one more. All the way up to the top, put it in the center of the blade. Okay, now 16 sheets. It cut cleanly, but that's just small little sheets. I feel like you would still cut larger sheets. Don't worry, I will use this paper for something. <laughs> Whether it's a little miniature notepads or books or paper mache something I will use it I don't throw away paper no matter what unless it's toilet paper I, I throw that away <laughs> okay so that's that that's the it's the e-craft cutter I will link it below if you want to check that out. I think it's going to come in handy with my paper crafts, with my bookmaking, all the stuff, my vinyl, putting vinyl for my t-shirt projects or any other vinyl projects. Alright, so if you like this video and you want to see more reviews from me, because I'm buying stuff from Amazon a lot, or like Dollar Tree stuff, so if you want to see more reviews, let me know in the comments. Give this video a like. Click that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring my bell so you get notifications when I upload my next video. You never know what I'm going to be making or what I'm going to be getting <laughs> from Amazon. So, yeah. I would love to have you subscribe. And I would love to see you again next time. Talk to you later. Bye.